Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This is iPhone Pro coming at you via touchswipe.com and I've got something great to share with you today. Uh, it's a blessing actually and what it is is my TX2Z Touch Smart Hewlett Packard computer running uh, Ubuntu Linux uh, aka um, Lucid Lynx which is the new version of Ubuntu 10.04 Beta 2 and April 29th, they will be releasing the full release. Uh, so that's right around the corner, and I'm very excited. Uh, when I loaded Ubuntu Lucid Links up, immediately the stylus was working with the touch screen. And I could touch the screen with my finger, but I could not click with my finger. Uh, although I could with the uh, stylus. But if you go to touchswipe.com or you go to Ubuntu, their forums, you will find like two lines of code you can put in the terminal and it will make your touch screen uh, fully touch. You won't have multi-touch, but you will have full touch. Uh, and that actually brings me to why I made this video today. It's very important that I, I speak with you today about this because I wrote Bill Gates basically an email and I said, you know, we're here and we're available and we want you to develop applications and games for our touch screen computers. The iPhone has them, we know the iPad's coming out, what about us? You know, that's what I wanted to know. And they basically wrote me back and said, what about you? You know, there's really nothing going on, and when we get around to it, we might do that. That's what I got out of the email. Uh, doesn't sound very promising to me. The touch pack, woohoo. It's gone. I mean, I, I, it's old to me. Where's the apps and games? Developers aren't even savvy to this yet. Well, this is what I've got to tell you. I've been on the Ubuntu forums. I just recently got involved in Linux and, and started installing it onto my system. And they said, you know, we're going we're gonna to bring the multi-touch to you. We are using Intrig. Intrig is getting involved. Um, we are going to get multi-touch to you. Uh, don't expect iPad is what they said, okay? Which is cool with me because, you know, the, the Linux system reminds me of a cross between Mac OS X and Windows 7, this new uh, Lucid Lynx. It's awesome, man. I mean, if you use Compiz Fusion, I mean, look at the, the effects you get. I mean, this is just, this is crazy. You know what I mean? And, they, you know, you've got your own cube in here and, and a million other effects you can do. I mean, I haven't even, I haven't even broken the ice with this yet. I mean, this is just, it's crazy, all the stuff you can do on this. Um, what I suggest is you get this, because my TX2Z, I don't know about you guys, the fan was loud, it was burning a hole in my leg, and I put 9.10 Ubuntu on, and it was hot. But I put the, the Lucid Lynx now, the newer version, and it's cool to the touch. It's not even hot anymore, and the fan hardly ever runs. You, I mean, I'll close up to, you know, buy the fan here with my, my phone. And I guarantee you, you're not hearing a whole lot. So, you know, it speaks for itself. And, you know, it, you can get a lot of the touch effects. The truth is, is without any applications and without any games with, with Microsoft, you're not going to get a multi-touch experience anyway. And with this operating system, I assure you, you're going to have a much better time. Now, there is a slight learning curve with the Lucid Lynx, with, with Linux, with Ubuntu. There is a learning curve. They have an installer, uh, much like the iPhone, where you can add repositories and get applications and packages, which is awesome. Oh, my God. They have an installer like the iPhone with repositories, like Cydia, like installer. That's crazy on my operating system. Get what you've been missing. You wanted an iPhone experience when you bought the TX2Z or a Touch Smart or any other touchscreen computer. That's what you wanted. Well, that's what you're going to get when you get this. And they're ready to do it. They're looking to do this. So, yeah, it's not an iPad. In my opinion, the iPad's a toy. And Microsoft doesn't care. And these people are awesome. I've already needed some help. I've went onto their forum and I have made friends with the coolest people on earth now. Now I suggest you put this system on and try it. 
Don't let it go because of the learning curve. Get on Ubuntu.com or come down to TouchSwipe.com. I'm new to it, but I will help you any way I can. If I can, I'll direct you in the correct direction. But I am telling you, if you have a touchscreen computer, don't waste your time with Windows 7. Windows 7 is worthless at this point. Multi-touch, what about it? Yeah, I can pinch and zoom on a couple websites. Really not that significant. The multi-touch experience is, is like dying in the hands of Microsoft. But in the hands of Linux and in the hands of this new Ubuntu system, I promise you, your experience is about to become supernatural. And I see apps and games coming for the future for multi-touch for Linux. This is the future, guys. Get it. Anyway, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Let me know how you how you feel. Give me you know a rating, and uh, it's always a pleasure to make these videos for you guys. I always get a good word, and I appreciate it. Remember, come down to TouchSwipe.com if you have a touchscreen device. If you don't, come down. You don't know what you're missing, and go get Linux, uh, Lucid Lynx, Ubuntu 10.04. Go get the beta. You'll be able to upgrade once after April 29th or wait till April 29th if you want. Maybe it'll be a little bit better. They'll have the touchscreen completely worked out because they do. You really just need a couple lines of code. But anyway, good talking with you. Take care.